Hi again, everybody. We're back. It's been a while since I've made a YouTube video, and I thought that this would be a nice time. I just finished a huge round of work on this car. Um, this is an STI version 3 that I imported. Um, it's a one-owner car prior to my ownership, and it had been sitting for a while before I bought it, so it needed a nice round of work to be ready for the next owner after me. Um, as I mentioned, this is a version 3. You've probably seen a couple videos I made of other Subarus I've owned and currently own. Uh, one of those is a version 2, uh, 555 edition, and the first one was an STI version, which is the version 1, really. Um, this is a really neat car. It has some features that are a little bit different than the version 1 and 2 that I could go over. Uh, starting here, actually, with the brakes. Uh, this version 3 was the first to get uh, four piston calipers in the front. This particular car has Winmax slotted rotors and pads. It has STI uh, braided lines. Uh, so it's, it's well equipped for autocross or track days. Uh, I put on these new tires. These are equivalent of Bridgestone. Uh, Firestone also carries the same exact spec and model. They just rebrand them. Um, the old tires are pretty dry and rotted. These have zero miles on them. Moving up to the hood, some differences between the version 1, 2, and 3. Uh, we have these gills here, which are s specific to the version 3. And the intercooler uh, scoop, it has a little divider in the middle, which is different. Um, the grill as well, a uh, slightly different look from the earlier two cars. Front bumper remains the same. Side skirts remain the same. Uh, it still has electric folding mirrors and uh, similar nomenclature on the back. This is the dealer, Shizuka Subaru. Uh, you can barely see the first part here. It's a really clean, honest car. There's no rust anywhere. It's completely stock except it has Cusco 01 coilovers on it. Uh, that's the only modification that's been made. Uh, I'll get some underside shots later when we have a professional come and photograph the car for when it's uh, listed for sale. I'll take a look at the interior here. Seats are still similar to the earlier cars. Uh, nice Alcantara. The bolsters are in great shape. Uh, usually when people take pictures of cars for sale from Japan, they never show this bolster because it's the one that gets the most worn. Uh, people getting in and out. Um, the interior is pretty much stock. What I've done is remove the Japanese mini disc player, which didn't really work here in the US anyway. And I put in an RA blanking plate for now and a pocket, a DIN pocket. Uh, the new owner can put in whatever they'd like. This is the original shift knob. These are really sought after with the red stitching. Very hard to find. There's a little patina on there, a little wear. But overall, it's in nice shape. Uh, the floor mats are almost perfect, uh, front and rear. The rear mat crosses over the drive shaft tunnel. It's got the highway flare in its original position. We'll move around to the other side of the car. Uh, this is a Nardi wheel. It's in very nice shape. There's no wear on it at all. Aftermarket HKS boost gauge, which I find kind of cool. Uh, some annoying things to me when people install these aftermarket gauges they don't match the lens the the bulb lenses so this gauge happens to be red and the factory gauges are uh, green illumination uh, the cluster is a little different than the version one and two uh, we have this carbon look here uh, the sti emblem in the middle as you can see this car has a 124k on it uh, folding mirrors all in all, very nice condition down here. Uh, this is a toll receiver um, for Japanese highways. It's kind of cool. It talks to you. I didn't take it out. I figured I'd just leave it. When you start the car, it says something. I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, let's take a look under the hood. Spent a lot of time under here in the last month getting things ready. 
So some other changes from the version one and two, uh, which also have differences between them. This is the first Subaru engine with Subaru Turbo uh, to carry uh, an open deck block. Um, the EJ20G that preceded this engine was a closed deck. Uh, Subaru tried to improve cooling, so they opened up uh, the deck of the block. This is the same uh, type of block that all the modern STIs use. On this particular engine, you can see uh, that there's the remnants of the red manifold. The paint comes off all of these. Uh, I considered having this redone, but uh, prefer to not take 10 hours and $500 to do that for a car that I'm selling, uh, unless the buyer wants to pay me to do that. Uh, some other differences here. The intercooler is larger from the 1 and 2, and you can see it sits squarely uh, instead of at an angle. The old one was cocked slightly to fit, uh, so they've improved the, uh, the repetitive cooling that you can get now from boosting over and over. The intercooler won't get heat sinked, or uh, heat soaked, sorry, rather uh, quickly. Um, heat shield, slightly different on this new uh, version 3 versus the 1 and the 2. Uh, this is, looks like, more like a modern heat shield. There's about eight fasteners holding this uh, heat shield down. Uh, I know because I've taken this downpipe off twice now. Uh, it's quite a pain, but it's, it's really pretty and uh, it's all intact and stock and nothing stripped or broken. Uh, this car obviously had a new ECU. It uh, has 505cc injectors and it's got an IHI turbo. Uh, you can see the emblem down there. This is the first STI to have the IHI. So the power is slightly boosted from the version 1 and the version 2. Um, you can also see Cusco camber plates. These are 01R coilovers. Uh, carbon Fuji heavy industry uh, strut brace with the titanium top plates. Everything is really good condition. The radiator I think is new. I didn't replace that, but it looks brand new. Uh, timing belt I've done, uh, front main seal I've done, uh, tensioner, water pump, thermostat, hoses, all that stuff's new, all the pulleys are new. So a lot of maintenance done under here. It's got new spark plugs that I put in, uh, new air filter. Uh, car's ready to run, ready to go anywhere. Let's take a look, uh, take a look inside on the other side here now. Before we go on, we have a couple more stickers. I believe that's a registration sticker showing the date of expiration. But I'm not totally sure about that. Uh, this car also comes with some nice documentation. Uh, you can use Google Translate app on your phone to translate the service history. Uh, it's got the factory manual here. Uh, really nice, well-preserved stuff that you don't always get uh, with a car that's been through auction. This is a grade four car, uh, which means it's in excellent condition. We have only a little bit of uh, wear here. This is painted at the factory black. I didn't make any attempt, although it's very easy to, to fix this with, uh, with uh, just regular auto body paint. Uh, again, it's just sort of an honest presentation. Uh, back seats have no wear. Everything's straight and good. And I hope to get this thing photographed to uh, list, maybe at Bring a Trailer. Maybe if someone's interested before I list it, they can reach out to me. But uh, here it is. I'm pretty excited about this car. It's been a long time, long time coming. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the differences between the version 1, 2, and 3, uh, shoot them up in the comments. I'll try to answer them. Thanks.